Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kathy Brock, Amen Live for L U T G Radio. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen, amen, amen. We are definitely everybody's talking about the Trayvon Martin uh versus Zimmerman. And um everybody is upset. Uh, this is like a worldwide thing. Folks are upset and Folks can't figure out what's happening. Why? It's a funny thing. A lot of people uh, kind of figured he would get off. You know why? <laughs> because of the laws and the system that's there. It's not designed to protect um, those of color. It's not designed to protect those that don't use guns. So, you know, it's like the wild, wild west. But the best thing you can do as a Christian, uh, as a person, is to pray. You got to pray. That, uh, and pray that, you know, vengeance is the Lord's and that uh, the laws will be changed uh, so that there's equality for all people. Not just for those with a gun or those of a certain color or those that have um, family members within the, within the legal system. I mean, it's a big thing to have a father as a judge. It's a huge thing. So, I ain't saying that that's what the case is, but you can't deny it. So, you know, definitely keep on praying for the Martin family. Pray for the Zimmermen that this man will understand that you can't just go around and take a life because you got a scratcher in your head. Had he stayed in the car, he didn't have even got any breath breathed on him. I mean, he, he never would have got wet at all. But he killed this young boy in cold blood. Killed him. Whether he wrestled with him or not, if you had stayed in the car like the police asked you to, you'd have never had this problem. Just saying. Alright, y'all, let's get it going with these scriptures. Remember to put the word before your eyes daily. Amen, amen. It's 6.14 in the a.m. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word is nourishment to your soul. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Uh, Psalms 147 and 3, He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13, Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this. I just realized my voice is uh, returning almost back to normal. Amen, amen. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God, and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comfort of the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we should honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, 
It shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, but it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that intended the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ um, and receiving Jesus, receiving Jesus into their hearts and loving and glorify God. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly everything. We touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease in unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people life shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of the feet. Those who accept the feet do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards. The beloved and the sign of God, we count all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We, as God's people, stand on the word of God, and all we believe by himself with the word of God by his divine and righteous order. God brings us his people, health and healing, and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples in the book of John, chapter 14 and 12, it says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. <clears throat> That's us. We are uh, the Lord's disciples. We're the ones that are alive and telling folks about Jesus. Uh, I know I've told you this story before and just came to mind again. I was watching church because I didn't go to the building this Sunday. I watched it online. And um, the pastor was saying some things uh, that kind of struck me in a way. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't him. Um, it, he was doing an altar call, and uh, not that many people came to the altar call. And what struck me, and what I kept feeling or hearing, uh, is that people don't come to get saved because of other Christians, meaning because of the way they're treated or the way they're mistreated. It's so important that we remember as Christians that we are called to love one another and to love our neighbors. The neighbors are the unsaved people. You can't beat, beat them down and then tell them, oh, well, come to church with me. You need to get saved. you got to show them some love. Show them why they should get saved. Represent Christ. Remember, everything you do, say, and, and demonstrate is a representation of Christ because that's the first thing they're going to say, oh. I thought you was a Christian. Why are you over here using drugs? I mean, you in the same place with me, tooting off the same line I am. What? You know what I'm saying? Or why are you sleeping with that prostitute? You know, or why are you stealing from this person? Why are you screaming at this? Why are you doing all these things? What's going on? So when you when you uh, do those things and then you mis and you mistreat people, you mistreat poor people, rich people, whatever. But poor people in particular. It makes people wonder, I don't think I want this Jesus because look at you. You say you Holy Ghost filled and you anointed. Is that what the anointing is like? You get to beat up on people. You talk bad about them. Some people uh, talk bad about people from the pulpit. 
which is not good. You, you never do that. And um, it's so funny, my listeners, from what I understand, because uh, I know some of you guys have, would have done or will do some of the things that I've done. I, I did. I would deliberately ask a pastor a question just to see what kind of response I would get. Because, oh, you got to remember, um, and this is for the pastors, I tell people, if a pastor is not showing love, you don't need to be there. If he's dogging, he or she is dogging people out, uh, and you see them doing these things that I already mentioned, that ain't the place you want to be. Uh, there was a pastor that fell from grace that uh, lived in our neighborhood. And before long, he cheated on his wife, uh, and uh, he was standing on the corner with the uh, with the uh, pimps and whores. You know what I'm saying? He's looking for a place because he had fallen from grace. When all he had to do was return to the Father and get on his face, but he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And and he left his children tormented. Just he couldn't believe it. And he mistreated he, he treated his wife so bad. He treated his kids so bad and come to find out he had been cheating for more than ten, twenty years throughout the entire marriage. So you gotta be careful. I, I tell my I tell the people that are listening if they ain't showing you love and they in the same place where you at doing drugs and all this other crazy stuff that ain't the place you need to be because God is righteous and holy and I ain't saying that every pastor needs to be perfect no but your love needs to be perfect and that's perfected through Christ Jesus through the blood through the word of God so uh, be an example be an example alright that's what I'm saying I'll tell you a little bit more about what happened uh on Sunday. Amen. Uh, in the next segment, or a little bit later. And here we go. Uh, we got the altar on the last five minutes of the segment. Gotta believe in me, Ebony Archer. I hope you guys got a chance to check out our concert this past weekend over in South Highland, Illinois. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. All right, all right, all right. It's about that time for the altar call. Praise the Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that through him the world might be saved. It's interesting that Jesus died on the cross for us and he did not have to. He volunteered. Did God have another solution? God always has a backup plan. He always has another solution. Jesus did it because he loved us and because he loved his father. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about what had happened on Sunday uh, was that I was reminded, remember I told you that I had died when I was 18, my heart just stopped, just, you don't know that you're going to die when you die, you don't know, it. you don't know, you don't get a warning, you just go. My heart stopped, my spirit left, and it was going straight for judgment. And here's the funny thing. What I saw and what I heard in the darkness. Because when you die and you die unsaved, you are surrounded by complete blackness. And the blackness is so dense and so thick. And your spirit, your, I mean, your soul, your soul is very much alive. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotion. Very much awake, very much alive. And it's so intense and what I saw and what I felt was evil creeping up around me that's what I saw until I mean I saw a light it's so funny people say I saw a light at the end of the tunnel it is Jesus came to get me I saw Jesus and so I, I, I was drifting towards the light until the until the teacher began to pound on my chest but I kept drifting kept drifting and the only way I could tell how thick the darkness was was because of the light of Jesus. The darkness was so thick, it was greater than six feet. It was so dense. It's kind of like looking at a star from Earth. You know how far a star is from Earth? It is very, very, thousands, hundreds of thousands of millions of miles away. That's how thick the darkness was. And I could see the light of God. I, he's, he's the only reason why I'm alive. The only reason why I did not remain in hell. And the only reason why I didn't get judgment is because Jesus revived me. Jesus sent me back to my body. Otherwise, I'd be in complete hell right now. So... When salvation is offered to you, it's offered so that you don't have to suffer the punishment for your sins because I was about to go through some serious suffering. Seriously. And I am so thankful that Jesus took the opportunity to save me. Because he could have just let me come on up and get judgment, but he didn't. So, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, receive it with the pure love that he intended it to be. His burden is light. His yoke is easy. He died on a cross so you wouldn't have to take the punishment for the sin. He doesn't want you in hell. He wants you in heaven with him. He wants you to tell people your story about how you got saved. It's not to try and scare people. It's just to tell them the truth. Hell is not a place you want to be and trust me. The thickness, and the, the thickness of the darkness is so maddening and so intense. It feels like a vice on your chest. It, it feels like you're surrounded on all sides. And here's the crazy thing. You will be. You won't be able to say, stop. Hell is real. Jesus is real. He's trying to save you from hell. Receive his gift of salvation, his gift for the forgiveness of your sins, so that you may live a life in eternity with the Father God, with Jesus and Father God Jehovah. And repeat this prayer confession after me and let the Lord know that you receive his forgiveness and you are thankful for his sacrifice. Repeat this, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. 
from this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you thank you for saving me and bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved. And receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus. For the edifying of the body of Christ by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Go to www.letgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find the church. Get baptized with water, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. He does. Follow me to segment number two, which is um, my peace. Amen. Here we go. Praise with all. Oh 